What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Marcus here, everything to Henry. And today it's episode eight in the Rally Tower series. And yeah, my kitchen looks more like a workshop. I brought in, you know, I have the tower here. It's in pieces because I need to do some stuff inside of it. Uh, I got some electronics and wiring over there. I have the driver PCA and all my freaking lights. Uh, yeah, the first thing is the lights, the OM lights have a driver board. This driver board is connected with this freaking cable. This is the normal plug that you plug in your front headlight assembly into your bike or you know you're on the right side it would be nice if I do not have to make another new connector so I'll keep this one here in the tower it will fit in between the two sides the problem is this is not watertight not yet anyways same goes for the for the for the lights they are not fully watertight. So the problem is how to make it watertight. Yeah, I think the best way is just to bring out the, the hot glue gun, some vulcanite tape. That's awesome. I will do that on the PCA and maybe uh, on the LEDs as well and uh, also use hot glue. The thing is that the lights are seated, you know, in this little sucker and I need to make it a bit watertight before I insert it and then I can add some extra you know glue glue on the outside and on the rear side as well right so it doesn't creep in there if they fail they fail then I can go back to uh, you know using my where are they to use these very lightweight Chinese lights and uh, then this whole project here with adjustable light plate and everything was just a big waste of time. But then again, I'm going to build another version of this tower, which raises this part up a bit, about five centimeters. So this is not below the side fairings too much, because at the moment, these, this goes out straight out from the frame at a horizontal angle. And... Um, you know, it's a bit lower than the, the lowest part of the side fairings where you have the like the beak on the side or the pointed bit. So, well, let's get down to business. I'm going to start with the PCA and uh, work my way through all the different kind of cables and crap I have here. The charger for the carp eater, the control box for the terrain command, you know, see if I can put it inside the tower somewhere where, where to put it. You know to make everything easy and have as little connectors from the bike out to the tower so you know i will have a charger and a, you know some other stuff that a given but you know i don't want to have unnecessarily too many or too many cables going out to the tower so the tower should be chop chop to replace so only two screws for the side fairings um the two bolts at the main uh, attachment point and that's it just the cables that's it here we go vulcanite tape that's like uh, my dad had a saying things that cannot be fixed with some vulcanite tape or super glue is not work worth fixing <laughs> this is tighter than a condom <laughs> it's it's not gonna let in any water so when the connector has been connected and all the cables then i will wrap this up as well right so because that one goes in there uh, so we don't have any uh, leaks in there pca that was not watertight is now fully watertight there is no chance of any moisture coming into that one that's not already in this one for sure uh, the lights i actually just took one little wrap around at the top uh, when it gets warm it will you know harden a bit uh, it's still a little bit gooey so i will actually fit it in to my holder 
and I will uh, hot glue it on the rear on any and also from the front uh, in any gaps or anything like that because right now the the port or the connector is uh, you know you can have moisture and water get in there and also down here at the at the sides here so that needs well 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 you're not always perfect <laughs> look at this crappy job with this hot glue i should have taken like silicone instead which uh, i could have you know worked in better and make it smooth you know i can always remove this if i want to uh, but i had a glue stick that was not visible in here so i had to use a freaking drill bit to press it in to be able to control the flow and uh, I still have some left here on the rear so I need to buy myself uh, more glue sticks tomorrow then we can do this and position out the PCA where it's supposed to sit we also have all the other wiring and stuff here so we have the charger for the carpeter which will fit somewhere in between the tower it's already waterproof and we have the controller for the carpeter, which is here. That would, will be a bit trickier. I might put it on the outside of the tower with the hole with the cables on the inside. Um, I don't know. You know, it needs to be sit, seated, protected. So it could be seated here somewhere. So it's behind everything and not, not uh, in the way for anything see if I can balance it here the tower of course the lighting here sucks but yeah you know it could uh, sit anywhere pretty much uh, however it cannot sit here the forks depending on how the forks go it could sit uh, here somewhere uh, so it's protected behind the the front panel or I mean the speedo and you know the window goes here here's the support for the side fairing we'll see otherwise I have another placement for it that might be better which is um, behind the one of the side fairings up where you had the original support plastic uh, around the ABS motor and so on um, at that location uh, However, I will need to sort out the wiring for that one as well, because at the moment it takes the power from the same power that goes to the carpeter. So it's one of those uh, controlled. Uh, so I know the lighting conditions here are crap, but this is the position of everything. Uh, the la lights are sealed, you know, the PCA is watertight these cables will come out here on the side attached to the the support for the side fairing because all these cables from the bike comes out pretty much to this point right because the oem uh, plastic support there with the cable routing system is you know going out to where you attach the side fairing so that will be perfect i can just put a stripe uh, around these and they will sit solid the charging cable for the carpe iter will go on the outside um, in the same manner you know we have the this support here for for the windscreen so i have plenty of space and, and routing capabilities on the side behind the dash or the speedo that sits here i also have these cable holders with a sticky pad on and it actually also have a screw hole so you can actually drill into the tower just thread it m4 <clears throat> and screw it in there as well if i want to so i'm gonna see what i'm gonna do first of all i need to put the tower together both sides so there we go guys we have a big mess here on the table i already have stuff on the floor the tower is here with a lot of cables and shit so it's put together everything is uh, here and as you see it right now this tower here with the speedo it's oh, what did i say 3.6 kilos uh, the oem 
plastic side support you know the headlight assembly windscreen everything is about 4.3 ish uh, in weight uh, so it's not a big save with this one right now but that's you know a tower without anything connected to it no carpenter so if i add the carpenter to this tower it's 4.5 kilos and with the solution i had before with my rally tower arm uh, i'm i was almost at 6.5 so still you know saving two kilos uh, almost so yeah so that's good uh, as you can see here i have some cables coming out so this is the OEM headlight cable because I'm using the OEM headlight. Uh, this is a regular DT connector for the added uh, high beam on my floodlight down there. And I already have the male version that sits in the bike because I had a extra headlight assembly mounted to uh, underneath the, the forks, not the forks, but the triple uh, and so on. So I don't need to do any new wiring actually. Uh, so that's nice. Um, I know some of you guys are really stoked of seeing me doing the wiring, how I do it. You know, I have another video on that uh, when uh, connecting my, uh, my, my high beam that I had on before. So these two will be easily just connected. I will attach these to, to my side fairing support. Uh, on the other side, at the moment, I do not have anything, but... We push this away. Here's my carpeter holder. And you can see the carpeter holder is just that. And you have two connectors for power. So that's the power to the pins and to the coax cable thingy. And the charger looks like this. It's just a small little thing which will turn on when you reach over a certain voltage. So it will, you know, turn on the tablet and turn on charging when when you actually start uh, riding your bike or driving it, then the alternator is charging your battery. Controller, power through the same port as I used for my, my charger, which I was supposed to have here on the left side of, of the Speedo, but why should I have a charger on the tower when I do not have anything else than the carburetor on the tower? I already mounted and made a plate to mount my quad lock mount on the handlebars in the middle uh, on the handlebars so it's better to have a charging port there and I actually bought another like Qualcomm type of charger with a built-in uh, voltmeter as this one has as well so that means that I could have that in front of there instead so it's easier to pull up you know put in a cable if you want to charge anything in your tank bag or whatnot it's easier access it's closer no cables hanging over from the tower to the handlebars and whatnot so i might skip that completely and just use that other qualcomm charger that i bought and uh, it will be less cluttery here on the tower easier when removing the tower less cables to disconnect at this point it will only be three cables to disconnect to you know remove the tower and two bolts and the side fairing bolts so four bolts or two bolts and yeah two small ones um so that's where we're at right now so the tower is in place i have just put on my forks and now i'm just going to sort out the cables i will have some cable holders uh, that can hold the cable and i can easily release them uh, I'm also going to uh, sort out a pin that is uh, removable or a, a, a small bolt that I can lock the cable in place here so it does not come up because if this speedo cable, I don't know if you can see it, if the speedo cable in there pops up then it can lock your steering so that's not good. And uh, otherwise, it uh, looks uh, pretty okay, I would say. And uh, I had the windows or the screen on just recently, but I had to remove it to put this in place. I will redo the mount I have here for the carpeter because it's a bit off center. Um, but yeah, that will come later. Otherwise looks good and see here i have the cables high and low beam everything that is needed 
Here I also have the cables for my charger because I moved it to the right side instead of left side. And I will see if I will keep these. Uh, I, I think I need to keep this one anyways because I will have to have at least my um, ABS off switch, which is somewhere. It's over here. You can fish it out. So here's the off switch. So that one I'll probably make a connector on so it's uh, easily removed. But if you need to remove the tower, you anyways need to lift off the, the speedo. So if this sits here in, on the speedo plate, you know, you would need to remove it anyways. It's just, yeah, I don't know, maybe. Let's see. <laughs> and uh, what do we have here? I think, yeah, this is for the extra high beam that actually is pulled on this side. Uh, that's about it. Well, cabling is almost done. I have to, you know, put in another cable uh, with a string tube on. Put more connectors on this one so I can have um, uh, charge my terrain command controller that sits in there. So I put it on uh, one of these bolt uh, places that I do not use anymore uh, due to I don't have the or original fairings. And then I'm just gonna put everything together. So I check the measurements from here up to here. It's uh, 24 centimeters. Uh, we have 20 to 21 uh, centimeters of travel. Uh, so it will be okay uh, when the windscreen it sticks down a little bit. So I will have like a centimeter of clearance. So yeah, version two of the tower will be going in an angle up like this. So it will start here instead, right? So it will be okay in the future. Uh, that's about it. of this episode next time you see me uh, it will be the finished build and I will demo the tower for you guys um, the version 2 of the tower I will not show you guys until it's fully completed and done and bolted on the bike but now you anyways follow the process in making it so now we're just gonna see the final result in the next video and talk a little bit of about features and, and what you know pros and cons and all that stuff so i hope you enjoy this uh, episode as well and uh, that you have a nice weekend and be safe out there take care uh, don't do anything stupid cheerios bye bye